honest, because that's what we do on a Rides 360, Nigerians love theater. This was highlighted greatly in 2021 as we saw a spike in the number of theater shows across Nigeria. Now, stage plays, musicals, they're regaining prominence fast within the Nigerian entertainment scene following the complete shutdown of theater globally uh, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, with Nigerian theater gaining momentum on stages across the world, we're looking at London's West End, we're looking at New York, people traveling far and wide just experience the beauty of Nigerian theater. In December, the Mamma Mia story got a Nigerian twist as we saw the musical play in Lagos theaters through rave reviews. Rise 360 to speak on the reemergence of theatre in Nigeria. I've got Yuriti Bakari Yusuf, the executive producer, Mamma Mia Nigeria, and Najite Dede, the director, Mamma Mia Nigeria. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. But honestly, I have so I, I had one theatre experience, and it was the most exhilarating moment ever. It just felt I felt free. I'll use that word to explain being on stage and just expressing yourself. But I would say this. It was madness. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at you two beautiful ladies looking great, calm, relaxed. Tajita, yeah, you were the director. Work, none of my work clothes actually got tossed up for this. Okay. So oh, tell me the, about the, it. Track bottoms, work clothes for theater people are <laughs> track suits, you know, gym wear, um, old, old, old <laughs> t-shirts, old clothing. Do not wear your fine clothes to go to work at, in the theater. <laughs> but so. why is that? What is it about theater that makes it, you know, so... You know, you have to just scrutinize the entire process. It is live, visceral, on-site, on-time, real-time work. And mm -hmm. it's very physical. Um, mm -hmm. And something like Mamma Mia, where you, you're singing, dancing, and acting, all three at the same time. So the process, um, and it took about six weeks which for me still wasn't enough time, but um, you know, <coughs> the producer. <laughs> um, uh, so we had that much time. Um, to because you, you need that process to develop the character and the technicalities, the singing, the, there's a whole lot of work, the choreography, put that all together and then you present and there are no second chances. Mm. Um, it's not like film where you can cut and start again. So you have this long process and then boom, you're live. So you, you, it, it's a lot of work, a lot of physical work. Mm, yeah, I can imagine. Erita, I want to bring you into this conversation. Everything that Najite said just speaks one thing, hard work. Now, looking into all that work that goes into theater productions, do you think that within the Nigerian entertainment space, theater gets the appreciation and recognition that it truly deserves? No, 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 no. no. Where's the camera? No. no. It doesn't. It doesn't get near as much. Um, publicity, as much applause, um, yeah, appreciation, as it's as much respect, right? As well, it should. Have. Respect, just not the money. Not enough respect, though, because I think it's it's often for me it's it's often uh, uh, a sort of what you call it the the bottom note, um, a footnote. Mm -hmm. It's often a footnote when they're talking about the uh, when they're talking about entertainment in Nigeria. And, you know, even here, even on a rise, you guys are always talking about film and the music industry. Yeah, yeah. Here you have Najita and I, you know, and there are several other Najita and I's who mm -hmm. have done incredible work, who did fantastic productions mm -hmm. um, this, you know, this Christmas alone, yeah. who went on, you know, one of the things that people don't realize is in 2020, whilst, yes, the, 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 the entertainment industry, was of course paralyzed, yeah. like most industries. But what theater did, and again, this was not appreciated, was theater actually fought back by going online. So yeah. a lot, right, remember, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of productions. A lot of experimentation. Uh, yeah. Yes, that happened. I mean, you had, you know, you had a huge, one of our biggest dance expos is um, Q Dance. Yeah. Who does, and when I say big, as in global. Yeah. And he went online and you had people from all over the world mm. joining. So um, you had Joshua Labikini, so concepts. You had um, uh, Adetiba, um, Adefila. 
Shagun. Shagun you had Shagun Adefila. So you have all these, and Shagun's a good example. Shagun does this wonderful thing in Bariga. He has a community theater yeah. in Bariga. He takes in, you know, it's children. Been going on for years. years. Decades. Yes. Decades. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And it takes. Why do you think that is? You know, I mean, because from everything you're saying, the thing with theater is if you don't love it, you cannot do it. If there's no heart, you cannot Yo. do it. Yeah. But, so why, no is, why, why is it like that? You know, why is that the case? I think. Why is it this situation? Like Najita said, it's quite physical, it's quite demanding. It's. Everything, it's all just your sensory is together. Glamorous. Yeah. That's just the uh, truth. That's the um, but I think it is, though. I think it's, it's I not think as it, it can is not be. Does it depend it, on the kind of production it, it could maybe? Be. That is it also could be. true. And also, as Najita said, they all walk around. You know, I'm an executive producer. <laughs> Theatre so is not where you're going to They blow. go around in their tracksuit bottoms. I don't. You're going to you know, blow. it's not where you're going to blow. It's where you're going to get um, the, the, the training, is where you're going to get good. It's where you're going to do some serious work in terms of development of your craft. Mm -hmm. um, but because we don't have productions that run for a long time, and that's what you need in terms of you that's need months and months and months for the producers and for the investors to make their, their return on investment and for the artists to gain a following. Yeah. Now, with television and with film, that now happens faster. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It so does. that's the thing. And, and, and Najita is right, and if I can expand on that, is that, so especially when she talks about the talent and the training and the skill yeah. and the honing in of your skill and sort of sharpening and tuning it up, that's one of the things that theatre directors do so well. Yeah. For me, and it's not because she's sitting here, she's a pain in the backside to me. <laughs> No, I don't much know what as you're I, talking yeah, about. Yeah, she she was. As <laughs> no I tell her, she, you know, know she's, she's the Weber about. to my Lloyd, the Tim to my Rice, you know, and and all of that stuff. But but the reason she and I, Najita and I, must say, the reason Najita and I work so well is because I have this supreme respect for what she does. I call her the deconstructor and reconstructor. An excellent theatre director must deconstruct and then reconstruct. That's what you saw with Mamma Mia. We we'll talk about that later. Yeah. And then a, a, an EP, an executive producer like yeah. myself, must respect that process. Even if I say to her, Nigel, can we, can't you just, she's like, no, no, <laughs> no, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. But she, she hardly says yes to me, actually. Oh, you, you know what? Hold that, hold that thought. Hold, hold, hold that thought. <laughs> We're going to pick this up from the drama that happened on the set of Mamma Mia, because I have a strong feeling that there was a lot of it. Well, not enough, not between, not between, not between us. us. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I mean, like, you know, casting and yeah. oh, rehearsals oh, oh, oh. and drama and emotion <laughs> yes. as well. Because, of course, it is Mamma Mia at the yeah. end of the day. We're going to take a quick break in Arise 360. Do stay tuned, though. Coming up, we're still speaking about theater in Nigeria and everything you should know about. Stay with us. So you are actually watching an actual show right now, like not a TV show, like a proper show, because the ladies I have with me today are the absolute best. We are still discussing theater in Nigeria. I have my guest, Ireti Bakari, Yusuf, the EP, executive producer, Mamma Mia Nigeria, and Ajite Dede, the director, Mamma Mia Nigeria. So let's talk about this, right? Privately we, having creative differences. Exactly, <laughs> creative differences. We're discussing, so basically what's happening is we're trying to understand why? The why of this issue, right? For yeah. instance, I mentioned the Bank of Industry Fund that is enabled to filmmakers. And then the fact that why do we not have something like that for theatre? Quick return is... on investment, simple. It's just not quick enough. But, but this is the thing. In the West, in other parts of the world, yeah. you have a partnership. Theatre is a partnership between government and private sector. Yeah. Private sector, and that's individuals, philanthropies, organizations who mm -hmm. say our CSR is going to be this investment mm -hmm. um, into you know, the theatre sector. And then you have government who will enable that to happen. And by that, I mean, government always owns, I mean, it's in all sectors, government owned infrastructure. Yeah. Like I, I have to say to people, look, Forget it, you're all using mobile phones, you're all using digital this, and you're saying government didn't give you. If government didn't give you the infrastructure for those mobile phones to sit on, 
none of this would be happening. We that so, and the private sector does not build infrastructure because that's what's on the ground. They have to lay that there. So government owned infrastructure, private sector then comes and let, puts the layers on top of that infrastructure. Theatre being one of the layers. So what you've also got is you've got, Nollywood has done well. Yeah. Nollywood started from there, mm -hmm. you know, started from the bottom, now we're up since we're on your show. <laughs> and you all do all that hip hop stuff. Exactly, like exactly. So, you know, and they've gotten themselves and they've yeah. forced, they have forced government to reckon with them because of the returns, the money they add to the GDP, et cetera, et cetera. Theatre is getting, even the music, yeah. you know, our burners, our whiz, Whiskey. all of them as well. They've it's done, time. yeah, they've so taken it's our time. turn. So it's our turn because so theatre has been growing. <laughs> it has been growing. It hasn't been stagnant. It actually has not been. Young. You mentioned right. Broadway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. what's happening. It's we intense. this year look alone. Look at that story. I mean, it's getting a golden globe. What well, look? Look, That's this huge. year alone in Nigeria it was Mamma Mia wasn't the only Broadway show yeah, that was here. You also Broadway had Les Miserables. Mm -hmm. Ayon. Broadway huh? style. Broadway please. style. <laughs> well, no, no, but, but we have to talk about it in sense of the licensing. Yeah. You know. Okay. You like. Fair enough. It's, it's in sense of the licensing rather yeah. than the actual production yeah. itself. But. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about that. So you had Le Miserable, which was done by Ayo Ajayi, yeah. which happened in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was talking to Ayo, one of the problems he said they had was space. So they had to, they had to forego some scenes, yeah. actually. Yeah, because space was an issue. That's when we talk about infrastructure, is space. Where is the biggest theatre in Lagos? What would you think? In no, absolutely not. Nowhere near it. The wow. biggest theatre in Lagos is Unilag Auditorium. And it is the only truly purpose-built that sits 3,000 people. But when was the last time anybody used it? And that's because we have an issue with maintenance, right, mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Terra Culture is a theatre, but it is by no means the biggest theatre. And the way it works, that, for instance, it show like Mamma Mia couldn't happen there mm -hmm. because of the size. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the size that we have. Le Miserable is a even Huge. bigger, bigger production. Yeah. So they had all those problems. So we, when, when you talk about these things, I get what Najita is saying with regards yeah. to quick returns. Well, if you don't plant the seed, if you plant the seed and you don't water it, it's not going to grow, right? Even, yeah. even the easiest plant that's, that's to manage a chaka will still die if nothing, no water gets onto it. And that's what we need government to do. We need government to come in and put the water in, but private sector to also do that. And that's where Mamma Mia was lucky. Globally, this year. globally and historically, yeah. theatre has, has always functioned and grown through Patrons, yeah. patrons yeah. of the arts, endowment, private to citizens mm -hmm. or, or corporations yeah. have their endowments for the arts. So if you if you had um, corporations and people who are adopting theatre companies, for yes. instance, mm -hmm. and yes. being their patrons yeah. and allowing art to develop, because you do need that if you're struggling, uh, uh, you know, to to make money to make a living, creating art is difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But somehow, you know, Nigerians we think. <laughs> Would struggle, you know, but it would be nice to not have to struggle. Yeah. It would be nice to be and able to make returns. Yeah. As an EP, <laughs> that's yeah. what I would say. It would be <laughs> nice to make Mama returns. Mia, that's an interesting story. Yeah. Tell us about, you know, how that happened, because we already knew that Mamma Mia is a foreign film. We knew that it had the Mamma Mia 1, Mamma Mia 2. And, of course, you know, you have, you know, theatre shows on Mamma yeah. Mia internationally. Yeah. But bringing that into Nigeria, with regards to licensing, you know, what was that entire process like? And why Mamma Mia? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. The 20, what are we in, 2022? 2022. Yeah, this is not the first 2021. Do you pull yeah, out 2020 and <laughs> pull that out. That year's lost. The last year. So, so we didn't do it last year. The first time was actually in 2019. Yeah. And then I did it in partnership with my friend Soji Akinkube, mm -hmm. who, who actually got the license at the time. Okay. Um, and then, you know... Then we did 19 shows. Najite was still the director then. The same cast, give or take, what, five or six yeah, or whatever, six. that we had, to, we had to replace. Why Mamma Mia? So here's the thing. Everybody connects with ABBA. Sure. Uh, it does, regardless yeah, of the generation. Regardless of the generation. We had seven-year-olds singing along with parents going, how did you know that song? song. <laughs> and they said, it was grandma's favorite. She's always singing it in the yeah. house. You know, we, the, the, I think the oldest person we had was... 82 
Wow. And I remember in, in, in 2019, the one that always stuck with me, of all the reviews we got, the review, the, the notes that always stuck with me was by somebody who had come to visit and she had brought all her aunts and stuff from Port Harcourt to come mm -hmm. and watch in 2019. And her aunt wrote her a note and said, thank you. And I must mention, she said, thank you, Busola, for inviting us to Mamma Mia. My husband's health has wow. not improved like that in wow. many years. Yeah, unfortunately, the woman has since passed, actually. I forgot to say, but, but and, and that's what, man, because they were dancing. You had, uh, I mean, I remember Femi Lija who came with, like, three generations, and they were all dancing. So that was in 2019. There was a lot of, please bring it back. The cast refused to actually even close the WhatsApp group. <laughs> um, you know, and so I applied for the license in 20, what have we done? I don't even know where we are now. We're yeah, last year. Right, so I applied for the license last year yeah. uh, by myself because by that time I had created Jeremy Seriki Productions, which is my own production company. Mm -hmm. And and I got the license and the first person I called was Najita. And I said, she always burdens Guess me. What? <laughs> Anita, let me get your crazy own Crazy ideas. So whenever she has a crazy idea and wants that crazy idea executed, she calls me. <laughs> <laughs> knowing that I'm going to go through the suffering of having this, having this done. But no, I mean, I was really, really excited at the thought yeah. of, of, you know, of doing this again. Um, and then, you know, she doing it as a producer um, by herself um, and speaking about partnership in terms of produ production. And I was like, no, I do not produce. <laughs> yeah. No. She, you, want, that's you want that kind of suffering? You do oh, it yourself. <laughs> I know the kind. So I make sweets, you sell sweets. That's, what she, that's ah, how we work. Yeah, that's how we work. I get it. I will Literally. make you the best sweets, the most delicious sweets, the mm -hmm. tasty and everything. They will fizz in your mouth and wanna, you will get people to eat the sweets. Yeah. So that was, that was it. But um, she wants me not to sing. Yeah, I know. And so long as you don't, because that you would she cannot say no I, I hear it in your voice uh, thank no, you she has a yes. lovely contralto speaking voice so, i can relate to that i'm not a great singer so. Dukmaike, who's our music director yeah. mama mia said <laughs> i can sing because she can make anybody sing she yeah. said yeah. So, but I anyway, think, I think I think she can't. Sing. Yeah. Then say, why are you so certain? Have you heard it? But but yes. But you know, we, <laughs> she insists on. Well, in fact, when she got when she got the license, when yeah. she picked up the phone and she started singing one of the songs. <laughs> she was. That's the first thing. That's when I knew that. Oh, she had gotten the license. I was yeah. Like, oh. Um. So you, So that was you know. But you're exciting. Seeing your your choreographers and you can dance. Ooh. You cannot sing. You know what, it's I okay. think that both of you should definitely, you know, have like, you know, a show. It doesn't uh, live to, you know, yeah, no. Oh, but, but, you know, I, I <laughs> each other's life more than enough. Like, La, Lajite, look, let me say something, yeah. and, and, she's, and I say this all the time, yeah. and, and I said it every night on stage mm -hmm. um, when we had the show this year, and th this year the reviews were even greater than 2019, they were great. it was they were. insane. Yeah, we got the chance to really, really- And, and that's what she did. more Nigerian-ness, nigerian -ness. Yeah. I have to be honest. So I'm looking at this video right yeah. now. I'm seeing different cultures. You know, mm -hmm. I'm seeing the East, I'm seeing the West. Yeah. And I'm also thinking Mamma Mia. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand. How? How? Just in a minute, because we got to wrap this up. How did you do Do you know this? how many sponsors said to me, Mamma Mia is not that first century. I'm like, sorry, what are you talking about? Hmm. How is it not? What you see there is Najite pulling together the, um, the costume designer, the choreographer, the costume designer who had said, Sissy, just watch me this time and you see what she did. The choreographer, the, the, the music, the music, director. the music director, choreographer is Uche. I must name them. OBJ is the... Um, OBJ Oro is a costumer. Yeah, yeah. Uche yeah. Ono is a choreographer. Yeah, there you go. And, and Dubai Dubai is a music director. Music director. And then all these young people, 80% of our team are young people and look at what they did. They did amazing. I mean, I heard. I we want heard to come back in Easter. Everybody's asking us to come back in Easter. That would be amazing. We need money. Can you see me? Where are you? <laughs> investor, um, sponsor. I don't want an investor. I want donations and I want sponsor. And I must say thank you to First Bank who yeah. saved us this time yeah. if they hadn't picked up the phone and responded to my cries and help we may not have done the show so i'm asking you honestly the, the abuja people are asking for it yeah. people want it back again 
in Easter. We want to do it again. The team are ready. Well, I mean, 2019. Even Valentine's Day, one day in Valentine's, we would do if somebody's willing amazing. to sponsor us. That's that would be amazing. That's well, what we're asking. Najite Iriti, thank you so thank much you. Thank you for, for coming time. on a rise for talking theatre. Thank yes, you. Yes, this was so much fun. I love, I love, love, love theatre, and I think we should definitely do this again. Yeah, we should we make will. it a thing. We'll be back.